alongside Minister Fredrickson, uh, as he mentioned, we co-hosted a meeting of the coalition uh, to defeat ISIS, and our meeting was timed, ladies and gentlemen, to take stock of where we're at right now of the accelerated campaign against this malign threat. It's a threat to all of civilization. Uh, we examined the enemy situation and discussed our next steps to make certain we're all on the same sheet of music. And we're going to further accelerate this fight and to free the people currently suffering from Daesh's crushing occupation and our enemy's terror threat to Europe and, and beyond. Denmark has always been a stalwart ally and friend of the United States. And the close defense relationship between our two countries reflects the enduring strength of NATO's transatlantic bond, having stood by each other in good times and bad. And I would add that the American people are truly heartened uh, by your government's commitment to share the cost of the common defense through a substantial increase in defense spending. The times have changed. 2014 was an eye-opener for all of us, Minister, and we have to change with the times. Uh, we also recognize that Denmark occupies a rather unique role uh, as a member of NATO, but also as a member of the European Union and as a member of the Arctic Council. And in our NATO affiliation, I affirm that the U.S. commitment to Article 5 is ironclad. We stand together, uh, Minister, visible and indivisible in the face of any threats to international law or to a peaceful international order.